Here's a fun fact. A Georgia teacher was rewarded $10,000 because she read the fine print of her travel insurance policy. Donald and Andrews noticed a pays-to-read section buried on page 7 of the 4,000-word contract where the insurance company expressed their desire to reward careful reading of its policy documents. Recalling her days as a teacher, Donalyn said, I used to put questions like that midway through an exam. For example, her test instructions would hide a sentence in the middle of a paragraph like, circle the number 10 three times for 10 extra points. Whether taking a test or buying an insurance policy, Donalyn's example proves an important life lesson. Being careful gets rewarded. The Bible promises a reward for being careful in our work. Pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done, and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. It doesn't matter if our work is paid work outside the home, or unpaid work inside of our homes, or volunteer work in our community. God encourages you and I to be careful in how we work. And if we do, the reward will be great satisfaction, a feeling of healthy pride and joy welling up inside of us. And as a bonus, the last part of Galatians 6 verse 4 says, we'll avoid the negative emotion of envy from the losing battle of comparing ourselves to others. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. And we honor your name, God, our great reward. And we thank you for rewarding us for doing what is right. Let's pause for a moment and think of a time when we did something right and were rewarded for it. And now let's thank the Lord for the reward of joy that we felt for doing what is right. May your kingdom come and your will be done, Lord. Lord, it is your will that we pay careful attention to our work and receive the reward of a job well done. Let's imagine how it would feel to work with all of our heart today and all for the glory of God today and everything done in love. And give us this day our daily bread. Lord, we need the daily bread of reward that comes from work, like the satisfaction from a job well done, or the joy we get from serving others well, and of course, the money to meet our needs. Let's talk to God about other needs we have today. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we're tempted to work with bad attitudes, or giving a partial effort, or doing it for our own sake instead of your glory or the benefit of others. Let's ask the Lord to deliver us from that evil and into the reward of working carefully today. Lord, our great reward, our hearts are full of thanks for the reward of satisfaction in our work. And our hearts are filled with purpose as we prepare to do your will, paying careful attention to our work today 
and receiving the reward for a job well done. And our hearts are filled with peace as we trust you with our daily bread needs to reward us financially and emotionally for our work. And our hearts are filled with freedom as we're delivered from the evil of bad attitudes about our work and into the reward of working for your glory and the joy of serving others well. For yours, Lord, our great reward is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. If you'd like a transcript of today's prayer or email updates for future prayers, just click the link in the description below or go to lordsprayerday.com.